Every day, people around the world queue up at their favorite street food sellers for something to eat. In Tokyo, Bangkok, Ho Chi Minh City, some of the best food is on the street. In New York, walk five blocks and you can eat the world. Polish sausages, Vietnamese noodles, Israeli falafel. The street food revolution's happening here too. Not that you'd know it. Street food sellers in Britain don't have a reputation for much more than E. coli and Mr. Whippy. I want to change all of that. See, I'm a food critic, but food criticism never concentrates on street food, which is a real shame because street food is the food that we can all eat and the food that we can all afford. Thank you. Town, country, street market, music festival, there are some fantastic mobilers out there. This. this is the Hurley Burley bus. It used to be a, a school bus in Wales. They bought it off eBay, renovated it with only second-hand parts. And it's an amazing small kitchen producing brilliant food with the entertainment thrown in. Street food is cheap and it's fresh. It's not like restaurant food that's expensive and left sitting on a hot plate until some sniffy waiter decides to bring it to your table. Restaurant food is, is about some received notion of what good food actually is. Street food is actually the food that we all want to eat. And the best thing about it is that if you spin it on your chin, it doesn't really matter. Nobody's going to point at you. In Britain, we just don't have the excuses anymore. We've got the food programmes on the telly. We've got the food magazines. We've now got more three-star Michelin restaurants in Britain than there are in Italy. So the fact is, lunch doesn't need to be a sandwich at your desk anymore. British food isn't a joke. Street food's no different. We met some real characters today, people who are passionate about food, who didn't necessarily have the money to start up a restaurant, but are still selling their food on the street. They're entrepreneurs, and those are the people who are going to be entering the first British Street Food Awards in 2010. It's going to be like the BAFTAs and the Oscars, but rolled into a pitta.